guys welcome to a new vlog i still have morning voice but today is a fresh start we are today's day one in our book and i'm so excited about it so this day is filled with all the healthy habits i want to pick back up just started the day off with some journaling and some gratitude that's something i've been lacking a lot of i've talked about this before but i really love this journal because first of all it's really bright and fun but every day is different if you're someone like me who doesn't necessarily love like a five minute journal that's repetitive. But I got this one from Papier, which kind of reminds me of the five minute journal. It just has, you know, like today I'm looking forward to, today I'm grateful for. And I do think that this really, really great prompts. I just think on their own, they're a little too repetitive for me. So what I've been doing is doing this. And then also if I feel like I want to do some additional journaling, then pick this one up. I've got my little coffee, had some toast before having this. And of course a glass of water and we're just chilling. I might watch some YouTube or something in bed. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. Today, we are dubbing a fresh start. Today is daylight savings. It's a Sunday. And I woke up today and I just kind of felt like I needed like a clean slate and letting things like stop me from doing things like my acne and I've been in survival mode for the last month, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. Your mental health always comes first. And if that means that I'm still here today because I've been in survival mode and I haven't been pushing these healthy habits, I'm okay with that. But I woke up today and just felt like I needed a, like a clean slate, a fresh start. I journaled some healthy habits that I've really been slacking on. And to be quite honest, I haven't really been doing anything at all. I have not been drinking water. I have not been taking my vitamins. I have not been nourishing my body. The only thing I've been doing is moving my body. And that's honestly only because we have a dog and she has to go for walks. But I just don't feel like the best version of myself. I feel very sluggish and I just don't feel good. I also today woke up and decided like today's the day that I'm not going to let acne ruin my life anymore. This journey of being on tretinoin has been such a mental battle and like everyone prepares you for it but you're not gonna like you don't know until you're in that situation this is the worst my acne has ever been in my entire life I'm obviously wearing makeup right now so you can't tell and i'm really struggling with my image right now and i woke up today and said like that's enough it's acne like get over it and easier said than done, but I don't want to let it affect my moods anymore. Like I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm not vlogging today. My acne is so bad. I can't even cover it up. Like I'm just so tired of that. And yeah, today is just a fresh start in like all aspects of my life, honestly. And you guys saw I had a really nice morning routine where I worked on those healthy habits. One really big theme for today's video is nourishing my body. I've really been slacking on that. So we're going to go and get some groceries. I just got back from a walk with Stella. I was listening to some meditation and that was really great. And I don't know, daylight savings just kind of feels like a bit of a fresh start. I've been really bad with my bedtime routine lately. Like I've just been scrolling on TikTok to like midnight. And to be quite honest, TikTok never makes me feel good about my mental health. It makes me think, you know, TikTok makes me feel like I'm never doing enough when it comes to my acne and... That like a leafy green is going to solve all of my problems and I hate to break it to you but sometimes the acne is just acne and it just happens and I find that TikTok is really detrimental to my mental health and so I'm taking a break from it and yeah today is just a fresh start and maybe you need a fresh start too and we can do it together so I'm really excited. These are our favorite Brooke Linen sheets so far. These are the linen sheets and oh my goodness I love them so 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 much like so much to the point that I washed them yesterday and just to put them back on the bed today like I am so obsessed with them. We've tried so many of their sheets. I mean we talk about them all the time and I want to say a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. We've tried the Luxe Hardcore bundle. We've tried the Classic Sheet bundle and we have so many of their products like we have their candles, their bath mats, their towels. We we are huge Brooklyn and fans in every aspect of life because they give you really great quality pieces at a more affordable price because they cut out the middleman you know brooklyn was founded on the philosophy that everyone deserves simple beautiful home essentials without that luxury markup right now brooklyn is having their sleep week sale so everything is 20 percent off until march 20th and i wanted to share with you guys the different sheets and what we use them for in case you're wanting to pick up some new sheets and try them out or maybe stock up on some of your favorites see even so loves brooklyn and she literally sleeps on this bed all day long she had to find a sun puddle to say it 
she had to find a sun puddle to sleep in she looks so cute right now the summer we gravitate towards the classic hardcore sheet bundle because they're percale sheets which help keep you cool at night which is great if you have a hot sleeper or just like in the summer because all three of us sleep on the bed so it's really great to have a sheet set that keeps you cool in the winter we love the luxe hardcore sheet bundle our luxe sateen sheets which are the ones that kind of feel more buttery soft and the more you wash them the softer they get they're really great in the winter to keep you cozy and warm but we're really loving the linen ones right now but i've never had a brooke linen product that i don't love we love their towels i have their bath mat like we just huge brooklyn and fans in this house which by the way brooklyn and bundles are the way to go you actually save up to 25 percent by bundling everything together and it just makes it so easy because it comes in one convenient box for you and you don't have to worry about buying your pillowcases separately or your duvet cover and your sheet set you know all that and the great thing is you can mix and match so let's say you wanted we have a cream colored duvet with white sheets and white pillowcases and that's the best thing about brooklyn is that you can completely customize everything and then it shows up to your doorstep in one convenient box it's amazing and like i said right now they're having their sleep week sale until march 20th so if you guys go to the link in the description you can get 20 percent off your order which is a great time to try out new products or stock up on some of your favorites if you guys are watching this after march 20th don't worry I got you. You can use the code on the screen and get $20 off orders over $100. A huge thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Let me know down below if you guys have tried Brooklinen, what you've tried, what you love. Like I said, we love different sheets for different reasons, but right now we're really obsessed with the linen sheet set honestly amazing stella can also attest to this because she's about to take a nap here changing your sheets is a good place to start which is something that like it sounds so small and silly but it honestly makes a really big difference and it kind of starts the day off on like an accomplishing note for me i'm very open obviously about my mental health struggles and i try and be very raw and vulnerable on here with you guys and yeah lately it's just been I don't know i just haven't felt like a good version of myself you know i'm really struggling to be comfortable in my skin right now just with like all this purging going on and i decided today is the day enough enough so i am actually gonna head out and get groceries that way i can kind of just be home for the afternoon i'm really really happy with how my morning routine went really need to get back into eating more vegetables i'm i feel like i'm okay with this but i just have not been nourishing my body with the best foods and i can tell i just feel like very blah and bloated and as someone with ibs which i always get asked i have ibs m which is ibs mixed you can have ibs d which is ibs diarrhea ibs c which is ibs constipation or both and i have both so sometimes i'm constipated for days um sometimes i'm just pooping my guts out you know depends on the day i really need to get back into doing some form of meal prepping whether that's like smoothies making sure i have all the ingredients on hand i want to do lettuce boat blts this week so i'm going to cook up some bacon and just make things really easy and quick and convenient so getting in the car when the sun is shining and i'm blasting some music always makes me feel better because today equally is about like mentally having a fresh start much as it is physically and like doing things if that makes sense so let's get ready and go get some groceries let's remember to take our vitamins before we go and my medication because that's important um where's my seed and i think that's it for now actually i'll take my omegas let's let's take the take the daily line out all right so we've got a coffee i figure we could have a little car coffee chat real quick about mindset that's something i'm really trying to work on i feel like i was like waking up in the morning and just being like "Ugh, my acne hasn't gotten better Ugh, i feel like crap Ugh, it's cold outside and just like immediately drawing in negative energy and just starting my day on a negative note which is why i'm really trying to keep up with journaling and gratitude and i feel like so many people talk about that and i was like oh it's kind of like an overhyped thing but it's really not i think it's such a valuable thing that society has made popular if that makes sense because i really think mindset is so important and i think i'm learning how important mindset is and waking up and trying to fixate on something good and not just start your day in this cycle of like negative toxic thoughts waking up and starting your day with those negative thoughts is just like totally self-sabotaging your day and setting yourself up to have negative energy so something i'm going to consciously work on is like finding something good each morning i've started to say it out loud say my gratitude say my manifestations say you know my affirmations out loud every single morning to stella to myself and you know this morning i woke up and i looked in the mirror and i said your acne is going to get better your acne is getting better you are not your acne you're not defined by your acne because instead of saying oh my god my acne's gotten worse oh my god i have a new pimple 
we're manifesting that good energy and honestly you guys i'm gonna be super honest for the longest time i thought it was like the cheesiest thing in the world but i really do see the impact that it can have positive versus negative thoughts in your mindset so that's something i am consciously working on shifting and i don't know maybe maybe you want to work on that too here's we've got a little cold bird just has a splash of milk in it i had some eggs before i left the house and i'm feeling really good honestly um my new medication that i've started i feel so much better which i talked about this in a vlog but the vlog is a week in my life so it's not going to go up until after this but we actually figured out that i have acid reflux and gerd which is why i've just been so chronically nauseous since i've had covid and so i started taking a ppi which is a proton pump inhibitor i'm on panto pantoprazol and it has helped immensely i feel like a whole new person obviously there's certain things that make it worse like coffee alcohol spicy foods etc but my nausea has almost completely subsided and i honestly since i've had covid i've talked about this but i have not felt myself in months and i could like cry talking about it because i just like finally feel like i'm back in my own body and like i felt like for the longest time i was in like a stranger's body like it wasn't my body and I just i'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel so that i think is also why i was like i'm ready to have a fresh start because i'm finally feeling good enough to want to eat good foods because for the longest time i was just eating bland foods like crackers pasta toast which there's nothing wrong with those things in moderation but it's the only thing that could settle my stomach and my acid reflux and now that i have that under control i want to eat things like asparagus and leafy greens and chicken and just all these things like i'm i'm genuinely craving them again so i really just feel like i'm coming back to life and it feels really amazing so so cheers cheers to that and let's go get some groceries i always say that we're home like obviously we're home carter i did a big restock of what i like to call the like quote unquote healthier stuff and typically that stuff is obviously a bit more expensive so i typically try and i try and save my cash back especially with like neo and stuff like my referrals and my just like cash back from other stores for these grocery hauls because these are the pricier ones obviously like all of this was i think 175 dollars and i paid like 30 or 40 bucks out of pocket i used my cash back so i like to save my cash back for the healthier stock ups which i don't do as often but sometimes you know we need to stock up on the beverageinos so i'll take you guys through the haul so i was out of protein bars these are my favorite ones the simply protein this is the cinnamon pecan flavor but sometimes i'll also get the chocolate coconut i'm a big beverage girl so i have to have lots of beverages on hand so we have the zevia cola and dr zevia these are my favorite like we genuinely love these so 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 much and i saw that cove which i love their kombucha came out with a gut healthy soda so kind of like a poppy or an olipop so we'll have to give that a go they didn't really have a lot of great flavors though they just had this or lemon lime i stocked up on my favorite kombucha i've never tried the cherry plum flavor but i love all the remedy kombucha so i'm sure i'll love it i got some lunch meat for sandwiches tomatoes um and i'll start here i got some sweet laurens which i never usually do but i have such a sweet tooth and i really need to you know not maybe snack on the pillsbury cookies as often not a great baker making things from scratch so i just like to have one of these on hand and they were on sale these are my guilty pleasure which once again this is why i wait till i have cash back to buy these because these are like five something a piece which is insane for a chocolate bar but they're so good this is the who cashew butter it's my favorite one so yummy so i got two i got some fat so peanut butter let me know what your favorite like all natural peanut butter is i kind of struggle to find one and this one was on sale so i figured i'd give this a go and the marketing honestly got me it's a very cute little label i got kale in the clearance section because it's expensive so i'm just gonna chop this up freeze it for smoothies and i picked up asparagus as our veggie for the week because we obviously do chef's plate and hello fresh but tonight we don't have one since it's sunday so i got some asparagus to have for the week i figured we'd have these for dinner with some rice they looked really really good and they were half off they are korean pork stir fried strips so i figured this would be really good because it's kind of saucy over some rice with some asparagus so i got two of them so yeah these were like three something so that's really honestly a great deal cove rebranded their kombucha labels which i'm living for these stocked up on tea i drink so much tea so spearmint and peppermint got a big thing of kombucha they were on sale for 7.99 so i got the ginger and this is my favorite the mango papaya 
I needed some more kefir for smoothies. They only had organic left. I don't always buy organic, but that's all they had. I've heard really great things about these potato chips, and they actually have them at Costco, so I figured if we really liked them, we could get them at Costco, and I love that they were compostable, and these were cheaper than getting, like, Lay's, which is kind of crazy. So I got a sea salt one and then just a creamy dill. Needed some frozen fruit for smoothies, which I want to get back to my daily smoothies because it's a great source of protein, great way for me to get fruits and veggies in when I'm busy. So we got strawberries, blueberries, and then I got some frozen edamame because I love to put that in the air fryer with just some salt. We, I didn't know they sold true fruit at Loblaws, so I picked some of that up. I love this as a little snack at night. This is my absolute favorite granola, the Prana Oatmeal Cookie Crunch. So I picked it up. I picked that up. It was on sale. I was out of flaxseed. And then these are just my favorite little yogurt to add in smoothies. So that is everything I got. Honestly, a pretty big haul, but I'm feeling really excited about it. You had to get Stella some dentist sticks. Come on. That was the whole reason we had to go get groceries because you were out of dentist sticks, girly pop. I'm going to put away all of these groceries and then clean up the kitchen a little bit and just get it ready for a new week. Then I'll show you guys what I got at Costco. It's not really, it's really not much. It's three things. And I'm trying to decide. I have to get my video up for today still. So I'm going to do that after. We got some flowers. We'll put those in the bedroom. And then we'll wait for Matt to come home to go to the dog park. And like I said, with daylight savings, we're getting an extra little bit of light tonight, which makes me so happy. So we'll have a good, wholesome dinner. And then maybe go for a nighttime walk and just kind of create that new nighttime routine, which I'm really, really excited about. And I'm just feeling really good today. And I hope that continues on. Before I put everything away, I'll show you the Costco haul. I just got some flowers. I feel like you get the best bang for your buck at Costco. And I've been really wanting to read Sarah Penner's new book. So I picked it up at Costco because they always have great deals on books. I just could not resist. And then stocked up on collagen, which it's just way better price at Costco. The whole kilogram is like $50, whereas... At Loblaws, you get like the five, you get the small one for like $30. So had to stock up on that. And I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to get back into a good routine. <laughs> flowers for the bedroom honestly love having a neutral bedroom being able to bring color in in different ways with like flowers and stuff if you guys watched the last video you would know i've been slacking on my reading and to me this is a really healthy habit because it keeps me off my phone still agrees so i was like mom let's read the book so i'm honestly gonna spend the next hopefully hour or so spend some time reading and resting and relaxing because that's also productive and booping that little nose hello you guys change of events i just went for a run with stella stella loves to run with me and now she's exhausted um i forgot that matt said he was gonna go to the gym after work and i was like oh i really want to like do something so i was like you know what? i'm gonna go for a run i say this all the time i'm all about doing whatever you want to do that moves your body i walk every single day i probably walk like 12,000 steps a day i would say i'm a fairly active person and so some days that's all i do and that's totally okay i shouldn't say all i do but you know some days i I just walk and that's totally fine because it's still moving my body but I really take these off really wanted to go for a run I'm working on building back up my like endurance after fainting obviously I wasn't cleared to do any high intensity workouts for a while for a few months working that up again if you guys are new here I do run half marathons I've run seven of them so like I can run long distance and it's been really hard on me not like having to be able to it's been really hard on me kind of starting from like zero and like building up that endurance again especially now that we know that my heart is totally okay right like there wasn't anything wrong with my heart and that's why i fainted so 
yeah but it feels really good i just really want to get some movement in there and i don't have a running vest or anything so i just like ran in this like oversized old navy vest with like a lulu defined jacket but i'm feeling really really good i ended up reading for like 20 minutes in the last clip when i said i was gonna read and then i was like i really want to go for a run so i went and yeah matt's at the gym and then when he comes home we'll probably chill for a little bit i really i think i'm going to quickly swiffer in here just because it's really it's muddy it's that time of year and like while we wipe those paws really well it mud's gonna get on the floor so i'm gonna change just relax i think for the rest of the night you know we got a lot done today and i don't like to push it this is one thing you guys know i'm actively trying to work on is break the all or nothing cycle so like when i come out of a depressive episode like i am now i want to do everything in one day and then i realize it's not sustainable long term so i need to just like literally force myself to cool it right now because i am in like hyper aware mode where i want to just like clean everything i want to keep going i feel so good I literally need to tell myself to sit on the couch and do nothing so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna plop our butts down and relax a little bit i'm gonna make a sandwich or something because i'm pretty hungry and i'm just feeling so good all right dinner is served we did a salad instead of asparagus because i didn't have the energy to make asparagus and we have like four solid kids that are gonna go bad this is the korean pork that i bought today and then i just tried to make some turmeric rice but i didn't follow any recipes so <laughs> and when i say i made turmeric rice i literally just went like this with the little spice you do know that turmeric it doesn't yeah. work that way so, but okay kind of looks like scrambled eggs <laughs> my nighttime habits no phone after eight or nine nighttime skincare reading before bed no scrolling be present during dinner watching tv shows aka no scrolling on your phone and a long walk with stella I just made myself a little spearmint tea into comfies don't mind how pasty my legs are and we just got back from a walk with this girl who is exhausted now and i'm gonna have a sweet lauren's cookie mm, i love these so much because they're like the perfect little size for a cookie i have different do not disturb modes or focus modes and i have one for the nighttime Time to wind down the only notifications that come through are like my parents or anything just in case of like an emergency but and i actually honestly i've just been leaving my phone in the kitchen that way it's not near me when we're watching tv just so i stay off of it